All right, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come on over to the NorCal Fisherman channel and listen to what I got to talk about this time. We're going to talk about my experience with the Pisifon Alijos 300 after one year. It's been about one year since I've owned this bad boy. Real quick, there's a few things that I'm just going to get out of the way that I was asked on the last video. And I'm not going to be able to answer them properly because I haven't been able to use this reel in those situations. And the number one question for the Piss Fun Elite host that I was getting was, can you jig bluefin tuna with this? Or is it a good tuna rod or a yellow fin rod? Or a reel, excuse me. Is it a good reel for those pelagic big species? Um, for a big game hunting reel, is it worth it? It seems like guys are looking at this as maybe a budget big game hunting reel. Um, I haven't had the chance to fish for a huge game like that. I haven't had the chance to fish for pelagic species like that um, yet at all. So I will be able to answer that. But one thing I can kind of compare it to as far as like me using it, um, I do use this rod. I bought it for a salmon reel. I keep saying rod. I bought it for a salmon reel for king salmon on the rivers, um, pulling salmon out of big fast water. And I've caught big salmon on it doing that. And then I transition because I only get a short salmon season here in California in my area. So I transition it to using it out on the coast for rock fishing. And if you guys follow the channel, you've probably seen this rod or this reel, <laughs> keep saying rod, this reel in some of the videos. Um, and some of the, I'll show you right now some of the baits that I use. And I've used this off of the skiff as well. And I'll show you the biggest lead, the heaviest lures I've dropped down and jigged with it. And I'll show you the lightest stuff I've dropped down and used with it as well. And we'll do that right now. Okay, so before we get into the specs of the reel, how much line it'll hold, what kind of drag it has, um, let me just give you guys an idea of what I use it for. So it started off um, throwing, I just picked these jigs up, but this is the kind of stuff that I was using it for from shore. It was just these little jigs like this. Um, it's great. It's got a lot of pickups, so it, it makes it really easy to retrieve it. And... Um, so throwing these from shore is what I was starting off with. And then I transitioned to doing like a one ounce drifting beads, doing that a lot for salmon. Um, then I upgraded going out into the skiff a few times, off video, because I didn't catch anything, of course. But uh, these are like the closest flat iron, surface iron lures that I would be using compared to like the bluefin tuna guys. Um, and it was handling this great, you know, it's, I don't know what size it is, it's big. <laughs> You can see it by my hand, um, but you know you can you can cast it way out there. It's great castability, and uh, this crank, man, this thing is just bringing them in. I mean, you're just out there, dee -dee -dee -dee, and you know, two reels later, a 50 yard cast is already back at your boat. So, give you guys an idea. I was using this, so I imagine you know, if you compared the pound of drag with like say an Alexa 300, which I see guys using or even uh, those bigger reels, I think it'd be all right. I'm not sure, but we throw around this jig as far as the heaviest lure I've used with this Pits Fun Lee House is this big guy, my six ounce swim bait. And I even add like a, like a one ounce teaser, so like seven, eight ounces. Um, and this reel handles that no problem at all. And these are big lures, right? We're, we're targeting rockfish, Okay, so they're not going to have a huge fight like a freaking tuna out there. But, uh, yeah, it's just my experience with this reel, right? And then I also use it for halibut, bouncing big 10-ounce weights off the bottom. Bounce ball rig, right? So now that you guys got an idea of what kind of lures I use it for, hopefully that'll put it better in perspective for you guys to uh, determine if you want this reel to use it for what you need. Um, if, like I said, if you're only looking for, like, a vertical jigging reel um, and you're wanting to do it on a budget... By all means, man, try the Lijos. I don't think you'll be disappointed. But like I said, I have never fought a tuna, so I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at the specs on this guy. Okay, after one year, she's beat, okay? I haven't serviced it. I just beat it, and it works just like it did when I first bought it. It's missing a little pad here. That's my fault. 
I lost that. It's got some corrosion down here from the salt, but it still operates flawless. Let's check out the specs. We come here. That's an eight one to one. Okay, it's got nine bearings, 33 pound drag. So right then and there, that should answer a lot of your guys' question. If you compare this to a real tuna rod or a real tuna reel, real tuna reel, say that five times fast. So if you compare a 30 pound, 33 pound drag to a, another tuna reel, that should give you guys a good idea. So if you're trying to use this reel for a tuna, but your other reels got like 50 pound drag, I probably wouldn't use the OEO. Does that make sense? All right. It weighs about 11.3 ounces, which is awesome. See that here? Uh, the mono capacity is only 15 pound mono. Okay, at 190 yards. All right. I found that to be a little confusing because I ran like 20 pound test on this and it worked just fine. Okay, and then it's got a braid capacity of 40 pound at 205 yards, okay? I got 80 pound tests on here. And I can't even cast all that off if I tried. So I'm not sure how accurate the uh, specs are as far as like line capacity. You probably play with that a little bit, but just to give you an idea, this is 80 pound and I can't even cast all this line off if I tried. And last but not least, I wanna show you guys uh, the rod that I keep it paired on. Um, it's gonna be just a real short video, just kind of touching on back when I first did a short uh, review unboxing of it you guys seem to really like that video if you haven't seen it I'll leave a link right up here you guys can go check it out when it was brand new um, and that's kind of what we do on this channel we just kind of learn as we go we talk about the stuff we get and we tell you report back to you guys try to give you as honest and biased as possible I like to buy this stuff and I like to be lazy with it I like to beat it around I don't like servicing it I like to try all different line combinations and I like to use it for just different things. How many different things can I get away with using this one rod or this one reel? And then I report back to you guys. Um, you're not gonna get like super scientific breakdowns of the reel or how to service your reel on this channel. I'm still learning that. Maybe later down the road, I'll be able to share that kind of stuff with you. Um, but as of now, just a super basic, would you buy it? <laughs> Let me show you what kind of rod I keep this guy paired up onto. If we go to the wall of sticks behind me here. Here she is, the big guy. All right, I probably showed you guys this before on the last video, but honestly, it hasn't changed. I keep the Pisifun Alijo reel on my Salilo rod. This is a nine foot medium heavy action, and it will hold 15 to 50 pound line and a one to six ounce. So Okuma Salilo. It's a great salmon rod. It's a great rod to throw uh, swim baits off the rocks. I mean, if you're in big water, this is just a great all around rod. And the Pissabun Alijos looks good on it, fits good on it, feels good, reels great, and it's handled some massive kings for me. I'll show you guys that video right here, the spillway video. And not to mention, we're going to be doing that again real soon. So hopefully I'll try to get some better footage of the reel actually in use for you guys. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. That was a quick review, one year review on the Pissabun Alijo. I hope I answered some of your guys' questions. Like I said, I'm not too inefficient with it, so I couldn't give you an honest report on that, but maybe in the future we will. Go ahead and give a big thumbs up and comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!